Welcome to you and all of your parts. Hi, I'm Laura Lively. So this is one of my favorite topics, and it's a bit of a head scratcher to try to explain. But how do you recognize when something doesn't happen? Okay, so I've been working with an IFS practitioner or therapist since 2017. And pretty early on, I had a situation that kind of left my mind blown because I didn't react. Something happened in my life, and I didn't react the way that I'd always reacted for the last 25 years. And it was such a deviation from the norm, how I always reacted when this event occurred. And so it made me sit up and take notice because I was like, what? But let me use an, a concrete example. In 2020, as the year wound down and the weather turned cold, similar to how it is now as I am recording this, I brought in my rosemary plant that I had planted in a movable container back in the spring. The thing is beautiful. It almost looks like a Christmas tree. I put it in the garage where it would have adequate sunlight. I watered it regularly. I even talked to it. I'd brush by its little spiny leaves and enjoy the scent that wafted from it. And this went on from like November to February. And then one night it got really, really cold and like negative 10 degrees. And only the next morning did it occur to me, oh man, that might've been too cold for the plant. So I rushed out to the garage and sure enough, it is dead, dead as a doorknob. And I had an inner critic that just wailed on me. It was like, how could you have been so stupid? What the heck is the matter with you? Okay, I didn't use the word heck, but you get the idea, right? All of these months of watering it wasted. I mean, I felt devastated and having this inner critic like beat me up, brought on a ton of shame. And then I had a part like telling me I was nuts for caring about a stupid plant. Okay, so fast forward to winter of 2021, a year ago. I bring in the plant that I babied all summer. It's growing it. It's in the garage. I don't make sure it's in before the first frost. I water it. I take care of it. I talk to it. February 2022, hard, hard freeze. Happens. Boom. I walk out the next morning to the garage. Bam. Plant is dead. Dead, dead, dead. And I stood there and I waited. I waited for the inner critic to yell at me. And instead, I felt like a part shrugged and went, huh, I guess that's why they call it an annual. So I was flabbergasted. And in that moment, I knew that change had occurred in my system. So I ask you, how would you, how do you notice a change in your system when you, when something doesn't happen? So when I just happened to have like an exact same scenario occur twice in a row to be able to tell that something had changed. So how do you notice when your parts don't react the way they always have? And once you start noticing it, I recommend you thank the parts for not reacting the way they've always done, right? Like thank them for their trust in you and your self energy that allows you to manage whatever the situation is that previously they may have jumped in to, to do their job or to criticize you for. And so I really, really strongly encourage you to start recognizing when your parts are less reactive when you can actually respond instead of react, like I did the second year that I walked out and I killed the plant. So give it some thought, like how do you know or how can you notice? And by the way, I did. I thanked the inner critic for like not ripping me a new rear end that second year. I appreciated it, not yelling at me and shaming me. And I said, thanks so much for not ripping me a new rear end. That's exactly what I said. And the part was like, okay, fine. So how do you notice when things don't happen the way they used to? And can you get grateful to the parts that are no longer reacting strongly, so strongly, because they now trust you in self-energy to lead your system? So that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to check out the description for links to some free resources and drop me a line and let me know if you've had this experience, because to me, this is one of the most healing, amazing things that happens in parts work. Much love to you and all of your parts.